What's up, YouTube? Uh, gonna do a different video today. Normally, I do um, how to and fixing stuff and all that, but I'm gonna do something a little different. Uh, I don't see many videos or many pictures, and I'm sorry for the loud birds in the background. Uh, they're going crazy today. But anyway, I don't see many videos of these old Craftsman tractors. Um, you see a lot of the SS16s and GT18s and stuff like that, but you don't see a lot of these. Um, there are a few on here, and there's quite a few images online and stuff, but uh, there's not really a whole lot about them. Uh, this is a 1974 Sears Craftsman LT1036. Uh, had a 36 inch deck under it at one point. I still have the deck, although it is beyond repair and it will not be going back under the tractor. Um, structurally, the deck is okay, but it needs all new spindles, it needs all that stuff, and I'm, I'm just not messing with it. Um, the idea and the plan for this tractor is to become a full time show tractor. Uh, I've also got a Massey Ferguson 50 with a three-cylinder Perkins diesel in it. Um, it is fixing to go and undergo a restoration. That's my next project. Um, once it is complete, which will probably take a couple years um, with the amount of budget and time that I have. I work 10-hour night shifts, so I don't really have a lot of time at home to, uh, to tinker with it. But once I get it done, this will be alongside that tractor at the tractor shows and like I told my wife, I might even use this tractor to ride around at tractor shows and look at other people's stuff. Um, we'll just see how that goes. But anyway, um, we'll go through the list of stuff that's been done to this tractor. Um, obviously, it's not the original paint. Um, this tractor underwent a restoration in about 2011. I actually did it, well, probably 2010. I actually did it in my high school ag class uh we had a mower maintenance class or whatever and we uh that, that's how we got our grade was to work on people's mowers for them and they would pay the school and you know for a simple tune up and we'd tune them up and get them, get them out the door for them um, and my ag teacher at the time was nice enough to let me bring this rusty mess in and completely do a re restoration on it. it took me all year and he he gave me grades just like i was working on anything else so he he understood that restoration was my passion and, and that that's what I wanted to do with it, and he allowed me to do so. Uh, after the restoration, this tractor sat from, say, 2010 through 2011 to just a couple months ago, so about March of 2019, it sat in a garage. Uh, so it was under cover, but it was sitting. Uh, it started to develop rust again, common thing. Uh, the tires pretty well shot they're holding air right now but i just aired them up for the video so uh, it's going to be getting uh, four new tires i'm going to do ag tires in the rear the size it's on it maybe just a little wider if i can get away with it uh, i'm going to do ags in the rear and the standard rib tires in the front uh, i know a lot of you tractor guys are going to say put some tri ribs on it they'll look good you know and i agree the tri ribs look freaking awesome but they're also very expensive and I can't find any this size. These are the six by, I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I've looked at them. 15 by six by six. So uh, I can't really find tri-rib tires to match these, to go on these wheels. Uh, and I don't really want to pay a fortune for them anyway. I think I found a set, but they were like 80 bucks a piece and I'm, I'm not paying that just to ride it around tractor shows and haul it around on a trailer. Um, so starting from the front to the back, um, I've had to rebuild the entire front end. Uh, some of you with these tractors may have had this problem. You turn the steering wheel about a quarter turn and the whole tractor frame flexes because it can't turn and it's binding against itself up here in the front end. Um, I had to fix that. Uh, basically what I did, look at your center bolt on your axle, jack it up, put it on jack stands on the frame behind it, let the axle swing free. If you can move that axle forward and back, that's your problem. So I had to uh, completely redo the centerpiece. I had to shim it with quite a few washers and stuff to get it to t tighten back up. I think it had a bushing in it originally, but I think it may have broken fell out. I'm not sure. But uh, corrected that, greased all the axles real good, greased these uh, linkages and arms real good. They're still The ball joints in them are still wore out, but 
I can't find replacements. Uh, so, if you know where I can get them, put them in the comments. Because I will buy them. Uh, it needs two new headlights. The tabs on the back of them are breaking off. Uh, so when I go to the motor here in a minute, you're going to realize the headlight wires are just laying down. That's because I can't connect them. Uh, so I'm going to get two new um, seal beam headlights for it um, and do that. Uh, originally, this had a 10 horsepower Tecumseh motor. And um, the exhaust port on that motor stripped out. The pipe got loose and it stripped the threads out on the side of the cast iron block. And... I wasn't about to try to pay somebody to fix that. Um, I got a good deal on this motor that's in it, so I went with that. I just did a swap, the bolts lined right up, everything looked good, so I just did that. The cool thing is, I still have that motor. So if you need a 10 horsepower Tecumseh motor, if you know how to do the exhaust work on it, it still runs. It runs great, it runs like a top, but it's louder than hell. And, um, the reason I didn't run it that way is I didn't want to burn the valves in it. So once the exhaust messed up, I parked it. Uh, it does have a Briggs sticker on it. Uh, when I was younger, when I got this tractor in high school, my granddad told me it was a Briggs, so I found an error correct um, 10 horsepower Briggs sticker and stuck on there even though now I know it's not a Briggs. Uh, but he didn't know either. He just was guessing. But as of now, got a 12 and a half horse Briggs in it power built edition I don't know what the difference is but probably just a marketing gimmick uh, you can see I had to do a little bit of wiring um, try to keep it as neat as I could but I do heat shrink all my connections uh, had to put this new plug in for the magneto this is the factory harness new uh, wire for the uh, kill wire for the coal and here's the headlight wires I was talking about. They're just kind of laying here taped up right now because the tabs. This one's kind of holding. This one's broke off. These are corroded. This is a newer light, but I'm just going to go ahead and replace them both. Um, they're like five bucks a piece. The fuel tank is actually the fuel tank off the side of the Tecumseh motor. Um, I used the factory bracket on that side to mount it to the side of the dash cow here and I uh, had to bend a piece of flat stock to hold it on this side but it's stout I'm shaking the tractor right now moving it and I had the same fuel capacity that I did with the other motor uh, the other motor sorry the plan was originally to get a vacuum operated fuel pump that Briggs uses on their big motors like on this one uh, which is my normal mower uh, and rig it all up and put a tank under the back seat because there's a big cavity back there that I could use and even up under here there's a cavity but I just decided to keep it simple and I mounted that and gravity feed the fuel down to the carburetor uh, I do need a battery for it right now I've been jumping it at the starter uh, this thing has only run one time and that's been today since 2011 I drove it around in the driveway parked it and now I gotta keep working on it uh, so that's pretty well the motor and the fuel set up there. It looks kind of rough right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean all this up, make it look good. But I'm still in the progress process of working on it. So um, The rear end got gone through whenever I restored it in 2011. The reverse gear was um, shaft was broken off. I replaced all that, re-greased it, uh, did all that stuff. Uh, it actually shifts very tight. see it does go in all gears shifts real tight almost like a new one um, so that's all been going through um, needs a new seat put on it that's probably the next thing the, the goal for this tractor even though it doesn't have the original heart in her is to keep it as original as possible uh, cosmetically um, I'm gonna set the hood back down you can see the rust is trying to form back up where it's sat in the garage it's had cans and stuff sitting on it and everything else so over time it started to rust again um, I actually resprayed the running boards 
the other day just to keep them from rusting. It's not a perfect job, but it's just to protect it. Um, the original hood latches messed up on me. So basically all I did, instead of buying new ones which are not available anymore, is I used a factory screw and bushing and took just a standard bungee cord and used one end, put it around the bolt, cut it off square at the right length and drilled a hole through it. Put a bolt through here. Now, that rides up on there. I've got wing nuts to go on here with little flat washers and it'll hold the hood down just fine. And they look almost original. Um, these older tractors and stuff, uh, that's the problem is you, no parts. So you pretty well gotta be creative in how you work on them and the parts that you can get. Uh, the rest of the deck stuff, the blade engagement and everything, that's all gonna come off. There's a couple springs and pulleys up underneath that need to come off. Um, this is just gonna be a driving tractor. Um, I would like to get a snow blade for the front of it at some point, just to use in the winter. And try to figure out a nice hitch setup for the rear so that I can maybe pull a um, offset pull behind mower with it eventually once we get a little more property um, and keep that mode with this although that tractor would do it um, you know it's just fun to drive these it's fun to use them that's what they're for uh, but that's pretty well it on this tractor uh, I was going to show you the tag on the rear give you the model number and stuff hopefully you can see that it says 9172552740 is the model 2401S21009 is the serial made in USA Sears and Roebuck it's legit. Uh, good old tractor. Uh, love this thing with everything I have. To some people, it may be a pile of junk that needs to be taken to the junkyard, but for me, I love it. Uh, I think the next step is now that I've got everything working, call me crazy, I'm going to tear it all back apart again. I'm going to tear it completely back apart. Um, and I'm going to take the wheels and tires to the local tire shop, have them take the, the tires off and just take the bare wheels back. Uh, for now, I'm going to completely tear the whole tractor apart. Um, if I can find somebody to redo these decals, great. If not, I'll tape them off. Um, but I'd like to be able to sandblast everything on this tractor, completely repaint with automotive, automotive gray paint, automotive clear, get it looking good, redo all the stickers and stuff, clean up everything in the engine bay, put all new tires on it, and uh, probably get a new steering wheel because this is uh, kind of janky. It's broke off. The nut was on it, obviously. It doesn't hold. Threads are hung on it, which I don't know I can get a new nut. I'm going to, but I'd like to have a new steering wheel just because if I can locate one, if you know if, where one's at or can get me one, let me know. Uh, but that's pretty well it. Uh, if you have any questions about this tra these old tractors, feel free to comment and ask me anything you want to ask. Uh, I've worked on this thing through and through once already. I can pretty well tell you everything about it. Uh, I will tell you, tell you if it does not have reverse. Uh, take the transaxle out from underneath. So you have to disconnect the drive belt and all that stuff. Unbolt it, drop it out. Um, leave the tractor sitting up on jack stands. And roll that transaxle out. You'll have to take the uh, gear shifter out, which is four bolts that run through the safety switch. Uh, just unbolt that and it'll pop right out. And uh, take the transaxle out, split the case, take it apart. And uh, nine times out of ten, the reverse gear rides on a shaft, simply bolts in place. Uh, chances are it's just come loose and laid in the bottom of the pan of the transaxle. That's what I came across on this one. Uh, the gear was in excellent shape. The shaft was in decent shape. Uh, went ahead and found one and replaced it. Uh, but not necessary if yours is still in good shape. So uh, if it doesn't have reverse, it could be as simple as that. Make sure you've got eight or nine tubes of grease uh, ready to put it back together because I think that's about what it took was eight or nine tubes of grease and some permatex to seal the case back up. But uh, 
that's pretty well it guys um, like I said if you have any questions or want to share some stories about a tractor like this that you've got or used to have feel free to comment below and uh, y'all have a good day